Welcome back to data modeling question and answers. Let me explain what is a table and what is a column. As I told you earlier, in physical data model, it is called as table. And in logical data model, it is called as entity. In physical data model, it is called as column. And in logical data model, it is called as attribute. I do have a small table here, which contains uh, three columns, column one, column two, column three. And I do have some information about the data. So D1, D2, D3, D4. These are four records. In D1, you can see Dr. Williams and there is a date timestamp here. So data is stored in forms of rows and columns. Here you can see this data is stored in the forms of rows horizontally and vertically in columns. Each column has a data type. So this D1 has got a data type called as text. In Oracle, it is called as varchar2 or character. And then you do have integrity constraints what are integrity constraints primary keys unique constraints foreign keys these are all integrity constraints why integrity constraint is required to enforce some rules on the column that is why you need this integrity constraint column also known as field or is a vertical element of the data and contains related information to that column what is a row row also known as tuple or record is a horizontal element of the data so what you understand row is a horizontal element of the data and column it is a vertical alignment of the data and you can see column names here doctor underscore id doctor underscore name and as well as date timestamp in this table the primary key is enforced on this doctor underscore id and not null constraint is enforced on doctor underscore name and as well as date timestamp 